And you know the famous story of Isaac Newton with the apple falling on his head. And he's like, whoa, whoa, hang on a second. What if everything falls? What if what is personal to me is universal in the cosmology? What if it's not just the apple falls on my head? What if I'm continually falling towards the center of the earth? What if the moon is falling around the earth? What if the earth is falling around the sun? What if the sun is falling around the galaxy? What if the apple falling on my head, which is a personal experience of mine, is actually a universal absolute principle? Now, through that, we get the modern world. Through taking the personal and making it the universal, we get modern cosmology, we get modern science, we get the modern economy, we get the end of slavery. And then for some reason, which makes sense when you understand how the power basis of the world work, we just think, oh, I guess we're done. Ah, that's it. We're done. We're totally done. We got the modern cosmology. Uh, we got the end of slavery. And it's like, dudes and dudesses, with all due respect, we are far from done. <laughs> we are not done in universalizing personal morals. So if we say non-aggression principle, do not initiate the use of force, what does that do when we universalize it? Well, when Sir Isaac Newton universalized the apple falling, it blew everyone's mind. They couldn't comprehend the universe because they believed that the world had been created by God and that the earth was the center of the universe and that everything from the stars to the sun to the moon to the planets all orbited the earth. That was what they believed. And, you know, from a personal perspective, it kind of looks that way, right? Now, when people said, okay, let's make gravity a universal, then we understand the universe as it actually is, and we gain enormous power over the universe, right? Nature to be commanded must be obeyed. Now, if we say the non-aggression principle, which is how we run our lives, should be a universal principle, what changes? Well, as much changes in our concept of how society should be organized as the entire universe changed for people who understood the principle of gravity and universality of, of the laws of physics. So what happens? Do not initiate the use of force. Well, you and I, if we have a great idea for how society should be run, you know what we can't do legally? We can't get a gun, go to our neighbor's house and demand that he pay for it, or we shoot him, or we lock him in our basement until he coughs up the money. You and I can't do that. It's called extortion. That's a personal moral that is actually enshrined in the law as a whole. Now, it's wrong because you're initiating the use of force. If you've got a good idea of how society should be organized, how about you don't pick up a gun? How about you pick up a megaphone or a microphone or have conversations like this and say, hey, maybe this is how we should make things work and you make a reasonable civilized case for it. You're not allowed to use force in the pursuit of social engineering. Now, taxation is the initiation of the use of force. You don't sign a contract. You don't do it voluntarily. And if you don't comply with taxation, the government will eventually come with guns. They'll send you letters and court dates and all that. But if you don't comply, eventually they come with guns and you either comply or you die. That's the way it works. Now, if you and I can't do it, why on earth do certain people calling themselves a conceptual label called the government get to do it? Now, you can say, well, it's legal. It's like, yeah, well, I hope that World War II put paid to the idea that what's legal is also moral. That was the whole point of the Nuremberg trials. Oh, perfectly legal. Yeah, but it's not moral. So the fact that it's legal, slavery was legal, doesn't make it moral. So if we say the principles we teach our children, the principles we demand of kindergartners, the principles by which we live, in a civilized society, in our own personal sphere, what if we extract those principles, non-initiation of force, and we universalize them? 